Triumph TR2. The Triumph TR2 is a sports car produced by the Standard Motor Company in the United Kingdom between 1953 and 1955. It was only available in roadster form. The car had a 121 SID, 1991cc, 4-cylinder standard wetliner inline 4 engine from the Vanguard, fitted with twin H4 type SU carburetors and tuned to increase its output to 90 bhp, 67 kW. The body was mounted on a substantial separate chassis with coil sprung independent suspension at the front and a leaf spring live axle at the rear. Either wire or disc wheels could be supplied. The transmission was a 4-speed manual unit, with optional top gear overdrive. Lockheed drum brakes were fitted all round. A total of 8,636 TR2S were produced. It was replaced by the TR3 in 1955. Standard's Triumph Roadster was outdated and underpowered. Company boss Sir John Black tried to acquire the Morgan Motor Company but failed. He still wanted an affordable sports car, so a prototype two-seater was built on a shortened version of the Standard 8's chassis and powered by the Standard Vanguard's 2-liter straight 4. The resulting Triumph 20TS prototype was revealed at the 1952 London Motor Show. Black asked BRM development engineer and test driver Ken Richardson to assess the 20TS. After he declared it to be a death trap a project was undertaken to improve on the design, a year later the TR2 was revealed. It had better looks, a simple ladder type chassis, a longer body, and a bigger boot. It was loved by American buyers, and became the best earner for Triumph. In 1955 the TR3 came out with more power, a redesigned grille, and a GT package that included a factory hardtop. As of 2011 there were approximately 377 licensed and 52 Sorn TR2S of the 8,636 TR2S produced registered with the DVLA in the UK, in the United States 1,800 were known to survive.